Start with some professional show business, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to start off, ladies and gentlemen, with an impression of Amy Winehouse doing some flower arranging. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the Mexican throw his wife off the cliff? Tequila! <laughs> you're noticing, isn't it? Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I've got, I went to see a picture. I saw a great film at the pictures last week. It was a remake of My Left Foot and Free Willy. It was called My Free Foot Willy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm a fire starter, twisted fire starter. <laughs> OK, well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I was very disappointed to find out that Michael Bublé's not on the show. I was told Michael Bublé might be on, but they lied. He's not here. At all. Apparently he's at a wedding, big showbiz wedding in America. Apparently Whoopi Goldberg is now going to marry the French actor Gérard Depardieu, and now she's going to be called Whoopi Doopie Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh when you cock up my music, OK? <laughs> So what I've done, I've actually booked, ladies and gentlemen, the foremost Michael Bublé tribute act here was tonight. Here he comes tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this here. This is Michael Bublé rap. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, I'll get off. <laughs> Michael Bublé rap, that was, ladies and gentlemen, because... You know what my favourite pop star is? Well, you don't know, I'm going to tell you. My favourite pop star, right, is Stevie Wonder. I went to see Stevie Wonder about ten years ago, live at the Albert Hall. It cost me about 40 quid a ticket. And I was so far back, I could hardly see anything. So, for you tonight, ladies, I'm going to reenact for you what it was like to watch Stevie Wonder live from the back of the Albert Hall. Can I have the lights down to get all the atmosphere? This is exactly how it was when I went to see him all those years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, live on stage for one night only, from the back of the Albert Hall, the one, the only amazing, Stevie Wonder! Isn't she lovely? That's not really him, that's not the real one. You know what I don't like? No, it's too late now. You know what I don't like? You know what I mean? I don't like it when you drive around the town. You see all these 17-year-old kids that just passed their test. Right? You can always tell when someone's just passed their test. Not because of the way they drive, right? It's just because of stickers all over their cars, right? And it says stuff like, I love my car. But you don't actually say love. It has a picture of a heart, right? And that heart's supposed to represent the word love. Look, I'll show you what I mean. Look, see there. See, I heart my car. See, I heart... Now, I don't know why, that just winds me up. So what I've done, I've got some stickers for the older generation using the same principles. Look, see, I clubbed my drunken husband, see? <laughs> what, see? But this, one, this is my favourite. Look, see, I spayed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Look, oh, this is great. Have I, have I, I, can't, I can't remember what I've done. Have I done, have I done this yet? <laughs> no, I'll do it now. <laughs> oh, look, this is a quick impression of the elephant man having a wee. This is a party blow for people with bad asthma. <gasps> <laughs> OK, what else we've got? <laughs> my my favourite programme, I'll tell you at the moment, I'll tell you what my favourite programme is Dancing on Ice. I love watching Dancing on Ice on a Sunday night, right? Because it reminds me when I was a kid, because I used to love... I'd go around my granddad's, right, when Torval and Dean, but years ago, they were doing all, like, the Olympic skating, right? And I loved watching them do the bolero, and I remember sitting on my granddad's lap when I was little, right? And my granddad was a bit weird, right? He was a bit strange, because he was the first person who ever had a pacemaker fitted, right? Well, he was about 28, first person with a pacemaker. He just had a little Kenyan boy running beside him all the time. <laughs> I went, no, it's too late, I'm not waiting. And I remember sitting on his lap watching them do the bolero, right? And when I was, I was about nine years old, right? He said, what do you want for your birthday this year, son? I said, Grandad, I want to go and see Torval and Dean do the bolero live when they go out on tour. He said, I'm sorry, son, I think that's going to be too expensive. Maybe, maybe next year. Of course, a year later he came around, he said, you know you want to see Torval and Dean on your birthday? I said, yeah. He said, it's still too expensive. <laughs> but this is what it would look like. Mm -mm. <laughs> this might be a night out 
Murphy was a career for me, because... <laughs> But it was a bit strange. He was an Elvis impersonator, but it wasn't a lot of call cool for that in 1938. Um, <laughs> and he taught me the practical just One of the best ones I ever did, you've got to try this yourself. Go to a fun fair, right, and get on a roller coaster, right, and you've got to have someone sitting next to you. Somebody strange, right? So I'm not strange, but some, a stranger. Could be strange, could be you. Mm, know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. <laughs> have a stranger sitting next to you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've only come out for a loaf of bread. Have a stranger <laughs> sitting next to you, right? And you have a screw in this hand here, right? And when they pull up, put that barrier across your chest like that, right? And he starts chugging off, go do, 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 do. Just before you go for that first drop, bend over, pretend to pick up the screw and go, where the bloody hell's that come from? Right? <laughs> There's lots of colour drained from their face, right? The best one, what you want, this is my favourite one of all time. What you want to do is get your, get your overcoat on like this, right? And go to the hospital about, about three o'clock in the morning, right? Tell them you had an accident in the car. Somebody's shunting you up the back, right? And just say, I don't know, I don't feel well at all. And they go, what's the matter? I say, well, I think I've got a bit of whiplash. What do you think? Mm, like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's for me. Good night, God bless. Good night. <laughs>